Hey, welcome to yet another exciting series. We're now gonna play Alan Wake 2. If you followed me on Twitch, I streamed my Alan Wake Remastered gameplay in there not too long ago. But yeah, without further ado, let's do this. Yeah, let's just begin. Uh, only normal mode. I don't want to be sweaty. While knocked to the ground, use dodge to avoid follow-up attacks. Oh, so we can actually dodge back to the beginning We all come to a story with hopes and expectations looking for an answer Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story Is there like a recap of the story the first one? There are only victims and monsters, and the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Monsters wear many faces. Nice butt. Can we see the... How about the dong? Can we see the dong? No? Ooh. Who the heck is this guy anyway? Can't even see the face. Dot board. Man, I can't stand walking on bare feet. Especially in a jungle like this. Oh my god. Scared the crap out. You can sprint by toggling L3. Okay. What are we running from anyway? What the? Now what?
so we're supposed to get killed there. Take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you, too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Bye, kiddo. Man, the graphics really did improve over the years. It looks so good. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Typical FBI routine. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. Okay, so so where's late. the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Return one invitation. Get to the crime scene. Find the deputy. Uh, worth map. memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Map. The map displays the key locations in the area. Okay. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. We only just started playing this game, and I'm getting good vibes from this protagonist already. Well, that's a huge map. I'm guessing this isn't. This is not all of the map yet. Oh. Ok. 
okay uh, charm slots let you equip charms to enhance Sega's abilities only charms can be equipped in the charm slots okay so we have abilities oh this inventory user interface looks like the ones in Resident Evil 2 remake and 3 and 4 and village and um, Resident Evil 7 looks very similar so we can expand our inventory I'm guessing because of the excess Maybe can we examine this? No. Okay. Hey, over here. Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Gee. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? The federal agent's right here, Thornton. My yeah, partner, Thornton. We're hearing you, buddy. Down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Yeah, we did. Any Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at oh, night. I mentioned the city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry, Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Okay, I want to see the body. Look. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. You can access the case board inside the mind place. What mind place? You mean the yeah. mind place? The mind palace. My okay. version of the mind palace technique. Yeah. To sift that's through what clues talking, and work the case, building the mind place again for each case, using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the, inv the investigation. Uh, victims. All vixen victims reported missing in 2010. Slightly difference in murders, bloating only. You are not free to investigate the case board or leaving by pressing circle. Okay. Post mortem tattoo. Chest trauma. Oh, they all experience bloating. Oh, is this the guy that we're controlling earlier? This old man? Okay. Yeah, we all... Oh, okay. So, there are other undiscovered maps. There are other places we can go. Oh, yeah. And, by the way... I might accidentally 
mention some spoilers for Alan Wake 1, the first game. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. But yeah, I'll make sure I don't... Um, I'll make sure that I avoid providing spoilers for the first game. But yeah, just for the... Just for a disclosure. Remember, you can quick access the map without entering the map. Yes, yeah, I'm, I, I already know that. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than What's I am. This? You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. I'll just pan the camera on the let on the letters. And you can just pause the video if you want to read them. But yeah, I'm gonna have to read them at my own time. Because, you know, I also watch my own videos. Make sure that I cover all the things I can improve on. There's always room for improvement, am I right? Man, I love their jacket. I want one of those. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <sighs> Mirror peek. Interesting. Mortar falls. Is that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates Manuscript the English jokes primates. about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> he hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the Mind Palace. Or Mind Place, rather. Oh. oh, okay. So this is like... If you played the Evil Within game... Um, in that game, we actually collect brain goos brain goo from zombies but in this one did you get lost anderson not a bad place to get murdered hmm. if getting back to nature is your thing but in this game we actually collect memories and those memories can be used as currencies to upgrade our weapons which is actually pretty cool it's a pretty cool concept damn should have brought an umbrella I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. What's in here? I'll be back in a second. Roger. Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. 
Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob? You forgot the UFO cover-ups. <laughs> Those are real? You guys hiring? No way. <laughs> Let's just see this body, shall we? Do you guys believe in UFOs and aliens? This is the scene of the crime. Because I found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a call. Oh. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Well, I guess this video is not for kids anymore. <laughs> Step one. Examine the corpse. Yeah, no shit. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mind place. Uh, this one? Oh. Okay. Okay. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Placing a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation. Another body is found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. Need to see if this is linked to the killings. We're here to investigate. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. Oh, so that's our goal. Investigate the crime scene. Consistent with previous murders, probably. Uh, I don't want to upgrade yet. I really want to save scum. I mean, to save our resources. Oh yeah, and if you noticed, what's really cool about this game is that it is so optimized that you switch places in real time, like this one. Do you see that? Wow, that's amazing. It's like this is, um, it's like the one in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. If you guys played it, you transition bef between places in real time. That's so cool. You can collect clues from the body. So let's check the heart. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Mm -hmm. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Inside stab wound, chest cut open. Multiple stab wounds. Twenty eight stab wounds. There you go. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will, will be unlocked. Okay. You can check the updated goals. Okay, investigate the crime scene, learn more about the victim and the killer. Okay. So this game is more about detective work compared to the first one. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Yeah, duh. I mean, his heart got taken out here, so... Pretty sure he died here. Case board. Heavy blood splatter.
Well, this is supposed to be the victim, right? No, it's the, kill the killers. They really made a mess here, caught up in the act. Or just sloppy work. Oh, yeah. So they did they did the killing. And multiple set of footprints. These are the killers. Okay, okay. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite yeah. the party. Nice. Did they plan for the murder to happen here? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably know him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. I think I remember that guy. Like, uh, Agent Nightingale? So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Huh. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. This. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Okay, so they were recording. Was it for a camera? I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm -hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Hmm. Critical content. Casey Night, uh, Casey Nightingale went off the deep end. FBI fired him. Uh, the victim. Yep. He's one of the victims. Okay, this is a victim as well. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Tripod found near the body. Um, yeah, uh, premeditated or spontaneous. Sure. Uh, what's that again? Looks new. Brought by killers. Why? To mount a camera? Weird s snuff film? Or a documentary, maybe? Don't know. Cooler and beer bottles. Okay. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Victim came from... That's what we have to find out, I guess. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind, please, to get inside the heads of the suspects and victims. Oh. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. 
You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Yeah, that's what we played at the first. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Find the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Came from Cauldron Lake. Yes. Point of interest cases track objects and information that Saga has acquired to chart collection progress. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember this. Those are the collectibles. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mug. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> 